Interstate 10 I-10 is a part of the interstate highway system that runs from Santa Monica, California, to Jacksonville, Florida. In Alabama, the interstate highway runs 66.269 miles kilometers from the Mississippi State Line near Grand Bay East to the Florida State Line at the Perdido River. I-10 is the primary east-west highway of the Gulf Coast region of Alabama. The highway connects Mobile, the largest city in South Alabama, with Pascagoula, Mississippi, to the west and Pensacola, Florida, to the east. Within the state, the highway connects Mobile and Mobile County with the Baldwin County communities of Daphne and Fairhope. I-10 connects Mobile and Baldwin County by crossing the northern end of Mobile Bay and the southern end of the mobile Tensaw River Delta via the George Wallace Tunnel in Mobile and the Jubilee Parkway Viaduct System between Mobile and Daphne. Topic route description I-10 enters Mobile County from Jackson County, Mississippi, near just north of where US-90 crosses the state line near Grand Bay. The four-lane freeway has an eastbound welcome center ahead of its first interchange, a diamond interchange with the western end of Alabama State Route 188 SR-188 due north of the center of Grand Bay. I-10 continues east-northeast through a partial cloverleaf interchange with County Road 39, CR 39 north of Irvington. The highway crosses the Fowl River and curves more northeast through a diamond interchange with County Route 30 Theodore Dawes Road west of the community of Theodore. I-10 expands to six lanes ahead of a pair of interchanges near Tillman's Corner, a partial cloverleaf interchange with U.S. 90 Government Boulevard and a full cloverleaf interchange with State Route 193 Range Line Road. I-10 enters the city of Mobile at Halls Mill Creek just east of State Route 193. The highway has a directional T interchange with the southern end of I-65, which serves Montgomery and Birmingham. I-10 continues northeast from I-65 as an eight-lane freeway that parallels CSX's NO and M subdivision rail line. The highway has a complex interchange with State Route 163 Dauphin Island Parkway just east of the Dog River. The interchange includes a flyover from southbound State Route 163 to eastbound I-10 and a left ramp flyover from westbound I-10 to southbound State Route 163. I-10 and the railroad form the northern margin of Mobile Aeroplex at Brooklyn, formerly Brooklyn Air Force Base, along which the freeway has a partial cloverleaf interchange with Michigan Avenue. North of the airport, the interstate has a pair of half-diamond interchanges with Duval Street and Broad Street. The half-interchanges are connected by a one-way pair of frontage roads. I-10 crosses over a Canadian National Railway, Illinois Central Railroad rail line and leaves the CSX rail line as it curves north toward downtown Mobile. The freeway has a four-ramp partial cloverleaf junction with Virginia Street and a pair of half-diamond interchanges with Texas Street southbound exit, northbound entrance and Canal Street northbound exit, southbound exit. North of Canal Street, I-10 has a directional T interchange with Water Street, which provides access to downtown Mobile. Within that interchange, the freeway reduces to four lanes and curves east and descends into the George Wallace Tunnel to pass under the Mobile River. I-10 resurfaces on Blakely Island and has an interchange with US-90 and US-98 Battleship Parkway west of Battleship Memorial Park. 
I-10 leaves Blakely Island, the city of Mobile, and Mobile County on Jubilee Parkway, a dual viaduct crossing of several rivers at the northern end of Mobile Bay. The first major segment is a crossing of Polecat Bay, and the confluence of the Spanish River and the Tensaw River, within which the interstate enters Baldwin County. The viaduct continues through a cut in an island, then continues across Chocoluchee Bay, within which the freeway has a diamond interchange with US-90 and US-98 Battleship Parkway, which mostly follow causeways across the great expanse of water. Beyond the interchange, I-90 continues across the bay and the mouth of the Appalachie River, Bay John, the mouth of the Blakely River, and Dolive Bay. The dual viaducts reach the eastern shore just west of a five-ramp partial cloverleaf interchange with US-90 and US-98 south of the center of Spanish Fort and north of Fairhope. I-10 continues east as a four-lane freeway along the northern edge of the city of Daphne. The freeway has a diamond interchange with State Route 181 Malbus Plantation Parkway in the northeastern corner of the city near the hamlet of Malbus. I-10 has a four-ramp partial cloverleaf interchange with State Route 59 on the northern edge of Loxley. The interstate crosses the Fish River and has a diamond interchange with the Baldwin Beach Express, a new county highway that connects I-10 with the beach communities of Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. I-10 has one more interchange in Alabama, a diamond interchange with County Route 64 Wilcox Road. Beyond County Route 64, the freeway parallels and then crosses the Styx River, then the westbound highway has a welcome center just west of the Perdido River, where I-10 leaves Alabama and enters Escambia County, Florida, northwest of Pensacola. <laughs> Exit list Topic. See also Alabama Portal U.S. Roads Portal